Hi there, this is Josh, and the book that I'm going to be reviewing is uh, something that satisfies something that I have been currently interested in, uh, and that is the Iron Chef series. Uh, a few years ago at the Book Garden, I happened to pick up Iron Chef, the official book. Uh, I'm more familiar with Iron Chef America. I've watched more of the episodes of Iron Chef America. I've watched a few of the original Iron Chef episodes from Japan, but uh, this is the original uh, series that uh, inspired the American version and various other versions across the globe uh, of the Iron Chef franchise. Uh, this is a pretty pricey book, but I happened to get it for six fifty at the Book Garden, uh, and I finally was able to make my way into reading this. This was compiled by uh, Fuji Television Incorporated. Uh, it was written by the staff of Iron Chef, and this was translated from the original Japanese into English by Hairuru Herketsu. And uh, this this official book here covers the six years of the original Iron Chef series. Uh, it covers testimonies from the staff, testimonies from the Iron Chefs. Uh, the there's profiles on the Iron Chefs and their challengers, where you can find their restaurants. Uh, it has information pertaining to uh, some of the best dishes that were created. Some of them you can even find recipes for. Uh, Chairman Takeshi Kaga shared some of his, uh, his 10 favorite recipes within this book. Uh, you also have the st statistics uh, regarding the various Iron Chefs. Uh, an overview of all seven of them. Uh, they include, uh, in Chinese cuisine, uh, Chen Kenichi, who was on the entirety of the series. Uh, among the French Iron Chefs, you had uh, Yutaka Ishinabe for the first uh, few months, but then uh, Hiroyuki Sakai uh, took over as the second French Iron Chef, and he had been on the duration of the series. Uh, there were three Japanese Iron Chefs, and by that I mean cuisine. All of them are from Japan, but they are sorted based off of their, uh, their cuisine of expertise. Uh, and But the ones that... Uh, were uh that had a background in japanese cuisine the original was uh roku sabaro uh, mishiba uh then it was kome yakamura and then finally uh masahori mori masaharu morimoto uh who uh american viewers will probably recognize him most uh because he was also an iron chef in the American version of the show, uh, and he has a pretty large presence within this country. He owns some restaurants, uh, and he has uh, engaged in a lot of uh, activity within this country. In the, in the New York battle, which was took place after the initial Iron Chef series, but is featured in this book. It's probably the newest thing that's featured in here because this was written in 2000. It brings mention to the battle between Bobby Flay and Masaharu Morimoto. Uh, it was battle Rock Crab and Bobby Flay infamously at the end of the battle went up on to uh, stood up on the counter on top of the cutting board and started riling up the crowd, which uh, the Japanese viewers, and especially uh, Morimoto, were uh, mortified because to them, the cutting board is sacred, and 
uh, Morimoto said that Bobby Flay was not a chef uh, because of what he had did there. Uh, but then you had an iron chef that specialized in Italian cuisine in Kasuhiki, uh, Kasuhiko Kobe. Uh, so you had a total of seven, even though only one uh, chef presided over each cuisine at a time, and Kobe, as the Italian iron chef, uh, only came later on. Uh, and when you listen to them speak about their experiences, you get a really good sense of who they are. Uh, both them and the staff uh, express a great sense of brutal honesty. Uh, they are straightforward. Uh, they are very competitive. Uh, they make a big deal. They, uh, Iron Chef, they make a huge deal uh, about the competition, and it is very often make or break for the challengers, uh, and even for the Iron Chefs, where if they lose, their kids uh, will go to school and they will never hear the end of it. Uh, one of them, uh, their spouse, uh, couldn't even leave the house after their husband lost in uh, in a battle, uh, which was quite something. I like that authenticity uh, within the voices of the Iron Chefs and the staff uh, and how they talk about their experiences with the show. Uh, after reading this, uh, you become you begin to learn so much more about the show and you want to engage in watching it. Even if you have the information right in front of you and you know what's going to happen for the most part, uh, there is an entire episode guide within here too uh, of all 297 battles, uh, the initial battles, uh, which includes the challenger, the iron chef that they went up against, the secret ingredient or the theme, uh, the judges. Uh, for some reason, the episode guide, they don't make mention to the winner. Uh, even They don't even say the person in bold is the one that won. Uh, sometimes you have to put the pieces together to determine who it was that won the respective battle. Uh, but... That was one thing that I wish that they incorporated within the episode guide itself, even though in the statistics it will make mention to how many of each battle uh, the, uh, the Iron Chefs had won. Uh, they sort their statistics out based off of general uh, overall record, rematches, uh, against other Iron Chefs, tag team battles. Then they also cover how many times they won and lost in each area cuisine with different kinds of theme ingredients. Uh, and probably the, the one thing that really uh, stuck out like a sore thumb, if anything, was the a uh, mistake that they made regarding uh, picture placement. Uh, they placed a picture of uh, Yukio Hatori, Hartur the uh, nutritional specialist, uh, in the place of frequent judge Hisako Kishi. Uh, uh, this is actually Yukio Hatori. Uh, they should have placed him with a picture of himself as opposed to with her. Uh, but that was a, a bit of a, a mistake and that kind of technicality is uh, a, a bit detrimental, but it doesn't necessarily take away from the quality of the work. And I think that those that really admire Iron Chef 
and those that want to get into Iron Chef are still going to eat this book up with a spoon. And I think that this is definitely worth owning for those that really want to uh, learn more about the series. I think that there are things that they can add into here, a, a bit more specific details about the particular battles. I know that Wikipedia has a great page that does that, where they uh, depict the battles in order. Uh, they don't make mention of the judges there, but they do make mention who wins. Uh, and for Iron Chef America on Wikipedia, they do that where it's the challenger, the challenger specialty, the Iron Chef they go up against, the secret ingredient or the theme, and then the winner. And they also uh, mention the score, which they just do overall score. They don't do the score as they see it on uh, the show itself, but... I think that they did it a little bit better on there than they did it in here, but it's still impressive that they do make mention to it in here. Uh, I give this a 4 out of 5. I think that this is uh, something that I would uh, suggest for anybody that would like to learn more about Iron Chef. I think that this is a very uh, intriguing and informative piece, and... It's definitely a gateway to getting you to learn more about different kinds of cuisine and different kinds of ingredients, uh, especially the different kinds of uh, seafood uh, that are uh, in here. And then the, the foie gras, uh, that is, they make a huge deal about foie gras in uh, Japanese cooking. Uh, but... Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you check out some more videos from this channel. Uh, and if you like what you see on here, please subscribe so that you could follow along. Uh, please give this video a good old like. Uh, if you want to talk about this book a little bit more, feel free to do so in the comments, and I would be happy to uh, continue to uh, extend the conversation. And please support us on Patreon as well, for the money that we make will allow us to provide you, the viewer, with even more content. Thank you, and keep reading.